the voice of reason. If your relationship is in trouble, I'm the dude to call. Has your soulmate become your cellmate? Does black love still exist? What are your bedroom turnoffs? Fantasies and fetishes. Financial infidelity. I'm dating a fat person. Are they worth the wait? Trust me, this gonna be crazy. How about the heavy stuff? The child wasn't his, and he still had to pay child support. It's a very heated topic. How was that right? Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. I just have so many questions I want to ask you. I just like to kiss a woman's ass. Is there something wrong with that? Damn. <laughs> he told me he had a vasectomy. I'm pregnant. Betrayal has been committed. Hit you with the bad yeah. hikes routine. How does he maintain his humpocity? He likes it when it pinches my neck. Why can't you open up, brother? I'm a karate man. Karate man rules on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. Yeah. How do you write women so well? So William. Reason and accountability. The voice of reason. Of reason. Of reason. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of reason has returned to Hot Button Radio. Oh, God. It's Friday, so you know we want to have fun. We want to turn up in this piece. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Today's topic is amazing. But as is commonplace, we need you to get to your phone lines, 844-55-1. That's the number to dial, 844-55-1. Caller-driven show. We want to know your opinion about today's topic. Before I get to the topic, let me just take care of a few things. You know my website was down. Somebody hacked a brother's website. Either I got haters and I'm doing really well, or I'm with the wrong hosting company. I don't know, but... <laughs> The website has been partially restored, which means y'all can go get the last 260 copies remaining from my book. The Relationship Dismount. How to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship. You must go to IamZoeWilliams.com and order your copy today. If you want your copy to go out tomorrow, you have to order it now. The Relationship Dismount. This nigga here. And wrote a book. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm having a ball. Don't trip on me. It's Friday. We're supposed to be turned up. The number to dial is 844-55-1. Let me tell you what tonight's topic is. This is a real situation, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how serious you guys are about this, but I'm dead serious. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now. If I tell you some shit, by default, you ain't supposed to say nothing. Now, I may tell the shit you tell me because I got double standards, but if I tell you some shit, you better not ever. (laughs) I I got to kill you. Now, let me tell you the topic. Can you really trust your spouse with your secrets? Oh, God, pillow talk. When confiding in a spouse becomes dangerous. And all you got to do is look at your boy, Donald Sterling. He lost a bum-ass franchise from his pillow talk. I'm just saying. Am I lying about... I like the Clippers. Clippers are bums. Been bums. Ain't one shit. Never. You will not talk that way about Blake Griffin. Okay. Don't you dare. You know, this has never happened to Arana before. <laughs> so we must introduce her to the ways of the world. Emma? Do it. Cut her mic. Thank you. We had to introduce (laughs) her to the ways of the world. (laughs) I'm just saying, people step in (laughs) and use the vulnerability. Because when you having sex with somebody, when you intimate with somebody, and you think you can open up to them, married or not, they use all that shit against you. Especially if the relationship breaks down and goes to hell. All of everything you've ever told your woman or husband gets used against you in the court of law. You can turn her mic back on. (laughs) I just want to know, should you be like hella totally open with your spouse with the secrets? Hmm. Because as soon as you run aground, because... Relationships are designed for you to run aground. As soon as you run aground. That's why this nigga. What? 
You out here in the streets? You loose lips sinking <laughs> ships out here? Is this Stupid. what this is about? Is this what this is about, G? CMB. <laughs> I'm just saying, you out here in the streets. Can you really trust your partner? Your boyfriend, your girl? You know you can't trust no goddamn boyfriend or girlfriend. But what about your spouse? Ooh. Who has she confided in? Tell me y'all don't be confiding in motherfuckers. <laughs> this nigga here, he gonna lose the house. <laughs> he done gambled away all of the college fund. This nigga crazy. Uh, I'm just saying. I want to know how many lives have been ruined after a great night of sex and a secret was revealed. <laughs> I'm just saying, 844-55-1. That's what we want to do. Let me introduce the crew because they want to speak on this. We have Red Panda. She's wearing red lipsticks today. And she has unquilted pants, which makes her legs and buttock look very couch-like. But Don't do me. But it's like a curvy couch. Like Don't do it. I'm, I'm just saying, it's very sexy. Okay. It's just couchy, but it's sexy. Don't Hi, do Red hey. Panda. <laughs> Why do I have to have the short cheer today? Because you're short. Oh. Yeah. Did you forget? Take your heels off. Remind yourself. Anyway. Happy Friday. Turn up. Glad to be here today. Anyway, a Seattle Seahawk has been sighted. <laughs> Whitney Tabor, her, her, her team is restored. They got her, the guy back, Cam, Cam Chancellor. Cam. But is it too late? Two games ain't nothing. Did you watch the playoffs last year? Listen, I'm we're having Seahawk saying. for Thanksgiving. It's you guys are done. Happy, Stick a fork in them. Happy Blue Friday, everybody. <laughs> yes, I'm rocking all my Seattle Seahawk gear. Y'all will see me every Friday wearing something Seattle. So just know that's we are loyal to our teams, unlike mm. these 49er fans. I hey, mean, 40 hey, winers. Whoa, is that 40 winers? On, is that hold on, hold on. Catch up in the championship race before you start talking. Oh, my gosh. It's not 92 okay. anymore. You Grow guys, up. You guys still blew it, right? <laughs> You blew it. One you game. You had a coach who blew it. One game. Give the ball to Marshawn Lynch. You got two titles, and that is still three behind the 49ers. Like the Speak NFL. not on the power oh, of gold. Gosh, now. Gosh, boo. But hey, hey, happy Friday. What's <laughs> up? Now, next to Whitney, <laughs> Lourdes Gigglefest. Man, listen. <laughs> she in here giggling. She's been turned up the whole time. She didn't have. Uh, fucking Red Bull and uh, and, and and hot Please wings, stop. and she's up here tripping right now. Crack, Laura, <laughs> La, uh, Arana. Can I can I say her name right? Arana I Lopez. Know. What's up? up, guys? What's up, guys? Happy Friday! I can't with Zoe today. I am not gonna have any cheeks left. I'm over here laughing. <laughs> he is wilding. We having a good time. That's what we do, <laughs> man. Listen, my face hurt. And then again, we have Veronica Conway on the line. VC. Veronica Conway, you know who she is. Speak on it, V. Hello, Bay Area is in the house tonight. Hey. Hello, everyone. What up, V? Oh, Listen, are our spouses on a need to know basis? Some shit you just don't need to know. Right? What about the spouses who want to share your passcodes? The motherfuckers exist now. Don't we have trust? Here, look in my phone. Girl, I know this is your throwaway phone. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? I know your real phone <laughs> is in the trunk of your other car that you got parked at that nigga's house. I'm just saying. Are you mad, huh? I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Here, take my phone. I have nothing to hide. Why women always have nothing to hide? Because they deleted it before they came over. You see, women be like... I, what? I have nothing to hide. We you don't. be hot. Not just because you're the best at hiding shit. So life, it looks like you ain't got nothing to hide, but you really have hidden everything. In real life, I have wow. nothing to hide. Like, I don't. Okay, I'll I'm, tell, I'm, I will tell on myself. I don't you? care. Oh, well, let me tell on this then. Run tell this. <laughs> Run tell what? There we go. So. Have you ever used pillow talk against the pillow talker? Loaded. No. Against them? No. Hell yeah. 
Thank you. Somebody yeah, step man. in here and tell the truth I'm and all, shame the I'm devil. I'm going to be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh, you didn't? Because guess what? Last week when we was talking, you said da 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 da. That is words that every woman has literally used. Like, come on. I've had my pillow talk used against me. Really? Yes. But I haven't used pillow talk against Please me. Please tell me. Mm-hmm. How was it used against you? Please. <laughs> can we can we define <laughs> pillow talk? You know, when me, let me just say this. After men juice off that's when you got to get all the answers man that is it there is there is a kind of haze they don't know what the fuck you know we we want to turn over and go to sleep and women are very (laughs) keen to ask questions in that pivotal moment that's pillow talk do you love me well girl come on now you know girl i love everything about you sweetheart be quiet. Let me go to sleep. But <laughs> anything could be said. And what if he's feeling a certain kind of way and starts to confide in you about maybe family secrets? Mm-hmm. You know, my my father, man. He, <laughs> him and my auntie. I think they got a kid together. What? And some of the dirtiest family mm-hmm. secrets come out after gush offs. And I'm just saying. Do we use these as leverage against our partners when it comes time? Veronica Conway, can you speak to that? I think that if we don't live in a world where we tell the truth, then there's no point in being in the world. Because telling the truth is the most, and having no shame about whatever the truth is, is the most liberating thing you can experience. And so... I think when we tell the truth, we become sort of bulletproof and immune to people's quote unquote payback. You better you know? speak the it's truth. Like the truth, yeah, it, it, you become immune to it because you just you're just you're in the truth, and you know, good, bad, ugly, indifferent, right, wrong. It, if it's if because we've all fucked up, we've all done stuff, we all have baggage, we all have stuff. If you can, the more forthright and honest you can be about it, the more empowered your life becomes. Interesting. She always want to take the high road. Veronica, have you ever used pillow talk against somebody? Something somebody said to you. I never used pillow talk against somebody. Yeah, leverage. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, not my, my ex husband because he had a very deep, dark secret that when it came time, I had to tell my kids. Ooh. I had to. See, that's different. Because it, that's different. Yeah. Because it was re- it was really important, and it, it, it they needed to understand the truth of his nature, and um, so I told that truth. But other, I don't know. I don't. Ooh. I mean, you you still talk for what? I mean, like what? Like, what would you go out and? Thank I'm you, V. Gunning for anybody. I'm not out here gunning for anybody. Right. It's like, listen, if we get together and we are interacting and we share a love space, even if it doesn't work out for whatever the reason, I'm not gunning for you and trying to go and hurt you in the aftermath of it not working out. Mm. Yeah, I just don't see that. I don't have I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't I, my life's too full of things that I'm on purpose around to be gunning for some. I, I don't I just don't get that as a way of operating. So See, maybe I'm weird. I feel like pillow talking can also get confused with sex talk because you're talking about that very critical moment right after somebody is yeah, busted yeah. off. Yeah, so yeah. sometimes yeah. there could be I some some. Yeah, yeah, there could be some BSing in pillow talking, too, though. Uh, say more. Well, I mean, that's at a critical time. Like before, you gave an example of, oh, yeah, girl, I really love you. That's the perfect time to get a guy to say that, but that doesn't mean he means it. Mm, I like. Right? Arana? Yeah. I'm with me yeah. 100% because if I want to use some against you, I'm going to use what you said to me in bold face conversation. Now, pillow talk is different from drunk talk. I will use something <laughs> you told me when you was drunk against you because that's when the truth was coming out but pillow talk i mean i think women are like uh you know police officers in the court system they're always recording everything you do and they will use this shit against you Mm -hmm. come on now i'm just i'm saying look anything you say whether it's after your mind is blown 
I guess that's what we're going to say. Or, <laughs> or while well, you're drunk or anything. I'm sorry. If you say anything to me that I'm like, yo, that was either messed up or whatever, please believe it's stuck in my <laughs> word bank forever. And there ain't no expiration yeah. date. So guess what? Don't come for me because I will pull it out and be like, oh, remember this? She said there's right no there. expiration date. There's I hope no, y'all was listening to no that. There's no expiration date. So watch your words, bro. Like, clearly, we got the different, different bedrooms because ain't nobody saying shit after we come. We sleep. I'm saying that, ain't no that, conversation, ain't no yakety yak. Literally, what I was about to say is, I we sleep. Who, who's smashing? Because y'all ain't doing it right. Because I'm the one talk. like, shut up, nigga. I'm trying to watch some TV. Dude, I'm out. out. I'm knocked. If, and if and ladies, if your man that you're smashing is not putting you to sleep after, you gotta find a new one. See, for me, if we're just smashing. Nigga, you're not spending the night. But if it's somebody that I'm actually dealing with like that, I want to talk. We still sleep. I'm, you know, I want to talk. I'll talk after our nap. Guys, I know there are a lot of guys out there who listen to this show. I want you to hear the women very clearly. Crystal clear, player. Anything you say. Dating Cannon a woman is be like used. being read the, the, the Miranda rights. Cannon will be used against you. Anything you, you say mm-hmm. can and will be used against your ass. Why not? Either in the court of the family. Mm. Because mm. tell me women ain't taking information that belongs inside the relationship and commiserating with a little team of others. With, with that, I think... Women need to be more, like, smarter, I guess, as far as women need to be smarter if this is somebody, if this is somebody that you're just hooking up with, yo, go ahead and say, man, girl, he ain't, mm -mm, guess what he just told me, girl, you know, you can do all of that, but if this is somebody that you, like, really see yourself pursuing a life with, Yo, some of the things, like, I've literally to the grave have a couple of secrets that I'm like, you know what? I'm never going to tell my dad that this nigga ain't shit because they I'm loved like. him. They love him. I don't want to tarnish his image, even though he ain't nothing but a buster. Anyway. This is what I want to hear. I want to hear from what I call the gatekeepers in these relationships, the people that have been confided in. You know good and well This dude's wife shouldn't have told you what was going on in that relationship. I want to hear from the gatekeepers. You know you can't tell your husband this, but you can damn sure tell your girlfriend. (laughs) I want to hear from who I call the information gatekeepers. Y'all got secrets on a relationship that we want to eavesdrop on. Call us right now, 844-55-1. Veronica, speak on it. Yes, can I can I say a weird disclaimer that I have to say to people that I'm going to be in a relationship with? Because I know wizards like Nichama and Angela, and they can actually see past, present, and future and feel into people. Basically, when you come into a relationship with me, you have to be on notice that they know everything. They can see anything about my people. So if right, so and the same is true for me. In other words. I came to a life where I, you know, I used to lie way back in my wayward youth when I was in my 20s. Yeah, I used to speak lie. to us you know, about your know, evil days. Can... Tell us, no, Veronica. I've not, no, I've been some, I've been some crazy, crazy, crazy. I've been, I've been, I was a little mastermind, crazy mastermind criminal, which I'm not going to go into. So, you know, I was a daughter of a panther. I learned a bunch of crazy shit oh, being, shit. In the, being in the panther party. So, nevertheless. But I really literally turned a corner and decided to only tell the truth in my relationships. And so and so what happened is over time I met people that not only I could tell the truth to, but that knew the truth about any situation. So it makes you kind of there's no you got you have to be a live free zone. And so I have to do a disclaimer when men come into relating with me, hey, my people see all. Wow. So, so let are me... you cool with having your life on blast like that? If you're going to be in relationship with me, it's kind of crazy, actually. Ashanti? <laughs> okay, so I thought of one time that I actually did use pillow talking against someone. I was yeah. dating this guy in like 2012, and we went to Atlantic City and we both did Molly for the first time. Yeah. And so we got back to the hotel room, and you know, he started sharing a lot of stuff. And I guess he was touched by his uncle when he was younger, <laughs> and it was something that he like consistently thought of to that day. Yeah. 
And it just made me look at him differently. I didn't want to deal with him anymore after that. Wow. Uncle Santa gave him a dirty gift. Don't do Molly. Then, and then you abandoned him. Don't do Molly, people. Uh, it just was it too much. You, it was too much, though. He put a pacifier on He just ruined it. My... It was too much. Too what much too waste. soon. Right. Too much Y'all too soon. Y'all supposed to go dancing. What is this? <laughs> Take this pill and let's sit and cry around together. Like, yeah, that sounds Too much fun. too soon. So listen, wow. we framed it up pretty well. Is it impossible to trust your significant other? No, but... I don't believe in trust <laughs> oh, yeah. at all. I don't think trust exists. I think it's a fucking misnomer. Mm, if uh, I can't trust you, I don't want to be with you. I kind of... I, I feel where you're going with that, Zoe. Exactly. I, I want. I kind of want to be on the on board, but I think... I don't know. I'm 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 ninety percent with you. Listen, there's ten percent that's holding out. Trust and lies are always tongue kissing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Trust and lies. <laughs> I'm just saying. Think about that. I'm wrap your wrap your dome around that. We've got phone lines. They're cracking. Let's go to line five. She didn't say her name, but it's a female. You're on the voice of reason. Speak to us about this crucial topic. See, trust issue number one. We don't know who you are. Hey, boo. <laughs> Hello. Hey, y'all. Hey. 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 This is Nikkei. Hey, Nikkei, what up? What up? How y'all doing? Turned up. Hey, boo. It's Friday. Mm-hmm. What's up, girl? Okay, let me tell you what the daddy told me. I had to learn the hard way. Now, I ain't really ashamed about telling my truth because it's my life. So, if I tell you something, I don't care who knows. Yeah. But don't tell nobody nothing you don't want repeated. You better get on down. See? See? True. True. Nobody? Not even your significant yeah. other? True. There's certain stuff you just got to keep to yourself. You have but... to. How can somebody really get to know you then? Man, they, listen. Mm-mm. They ain't got to know all your secrets. All you got to do is know the role I play, goddammit. Mm. You ain't got to know me. <laughs> know my goddamn role and respect the role. Oh, boy. What is this? Black Where Black. am I counting black? Like, that is good. <laughs> you will never know 100% of a person, especially since people are always growing and changing. You know, it's just... See, but I feel like you do have a certain responsibility to your significant other to talk about your past so they can know why you function the way you do. Did I get the oil change? All right. Man. Did I get? Did I kill the spider? Good you job. don't need to know shit else. Understand? Oh, That's my role. You understand? <laughs> oh, oh, 1900. Oh, <laughs> You came in there. You asked for some. Uh, you asked for some dangling. I gave you some dangling. Ew, dangling. <laughs> it's all I worked, old. I worked out the kinks and shit right. in your back, and you know the dangling got you juicing. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know nothing else. Where, I, you know, where you going, you baby? So awesome. Listen, you don't ever ask me you where know, I'm going. You, you understand? When I walk out the door, I am no longer, you know, beholden to you at all now. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> And this is why Zoe oh is still God. just single and dangling, just right. dangling this dang thing. Hey, there it is. I love single. He's single to... and dangling these hoes out here. Yeah, hilarious. Uh, it's like an edible arrangement. I'll have some chocolate covered <laughs> pussy today. <laughs> yeah. Ah, stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, go ahead, Veronica. Yeah, say what you BC wanted to say. say what? Well, well, first of all, you sound like the dude on uh, on Dave Chappelle when they did Trading Wives, and the the, 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 the brother was like, "Come on, go on there, give me six fish and fried chicken." Like you sound like that guy right there. Exactly. <laughs> Hilarious is one thing that I know. Um, but you know the I, the men that I I I prefer men that are intuitive enough that would even sense that I was holding something back that would even sense if there was a little, like, glitch in the matrix, like, that they are that attuned to God. me. Okay, wait a minute. Hold him. on. Hold on, Veronica. I'm with that. Though. Veronica is listen, right. So listen, I, hold on. Who I date. This no, is, hold on. I just, date. just see, because, just, hold on. Let me just. <laughs> what? Because, see, Veronica is, she's fucking related <laughs> no. to, to Diana Prince. She has throat gasms. I'm just saying, no. Veronica is Wonder Woman's little sister. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got the reference, Diana Prince. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the average person, Veronica, is not looking for a male psychic to date. Like, he has it's to he has to be intuitive. Psychic, it's being intuitive. He, mm-hmm. has to, he should be intuitive. She just wants somebody she's connected with. You want them witness protection it's homes. Like, That's your problem. 
No, just like just like Veronica I wants a Jedi. The way the way <laughs> no, the way that I interact with men too, the way that I serve men is that I'm a I'm a deep curiosity about who they are and mm-hmm. how they show up and how they think and how they and I'm so I'm, we're, I'm a constant so I I tend to know them deeply and they tend to feel very known, right? Because I'm curious about them and so I think that that's <sighs> cool to have. For me too. I think that that's like being really deeply connected to somebody. I get the I sense that weird about that. I get the sense that when Veronica meets a, somebody, she's like, the force is strong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can just feel the Senator Palpatine in her, like these powerful. And I'm just go ahead, Whitney. Um. Well, what I was gonna say is. Honestly, I don't think I want to know 100% of anybody's everything. Like, where's the mystery? If I'm dating you, I kind of want you to have a little bit of mystery about you. So I don't want to hear all... I mean, if you want to tell me, go right ahead. I will listen and be like, "Uh, okay. But... I don't want to know all about this. This is boring. This little area of my mouth is like, (laughs) that's some bullshit. On everything, like, realistically, (laughs) if I know everything, then... You're, I'm over you. I'm kind of bored. Like, okay, oh, there's so no mystery. The, mystery, the right? mystery is gone with you. So now I'm going to find a new boo. <laughs> let me just say, let me just say before we go to break. Y'all know y'all want to know everything about us. The more you're interested in us, yep. the more you're wrapped in, wrapped up into the, the energy. And then Lord forbid you get the, ooh, <laughs> we make you do that noise. Ooh. Oh my I don't know God! What this is. That Who fuck is us that? retarded? What <laughs> is this? This Chewbacca? I'm just saying, you fucking Zo is fucking Chewbacca, bro. Wow. I'm saying, remember no. Eddie Murphy's <laughs> classic? He never yeah. had sex with I remember Whoopi that. when he what? said, "You make him go." Ooh. I remember that. When you make your bus off and See, that leg is, is shaking. That? I think these are old bitches do that now. I don't know about <laughs> whatever you back with. Hey, oh Patty Labelle, man. All I'm saying. All I'm saying is, or, if he takes y'all uh, there, you guys get hella, hella sticky. You get hella nosy. You get hella into his shit. You're about him now. See, Red Panda knows what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> exactly. I don't make Disagree. that little noise, but sometimes I cry. Disagree. Yeah, oh, really? So yes. the more you, so the more you get attached to a man, the less you want to know about him. No, but I don't get as sticky. How many cell either. phones have you sticky? cracked? Ooh, none. You're talking about violence. I'm none. 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 How many if cell phones crack, have you cracked? If I gotta crack your I cell got, phone, I don't need to be around you. I don't crack them. I just be like, look, give me your phone, bro. Or I'm gonna I'm crack done, your phone. <laughs> like, I'm a crack you player. Work. No, my, I have. I got a squadron of. CSI agents on the low. See? So I just hit one my homegirl like, hey, I think he acting up, man. And she's like, give me two minutes. <laughs> Boom. I got his social security card. I got his mama's, you know, recipe for her meatloaf. I got all of that in two minutes from I my you squad. you guys are listening. I'm just saying, don't play. I just got to catch you in a lie and I, I got you. I don't I need all it. that. The more I get lie. to know a guy, the more we start having sex, the more I want to know about him. Unless that's all he's for is sex. But if I'm interested in him, then who are you? How many cell phones have you cracked, Ashanti? I've never cracked I've a cell phone because I'm not trying to buy any. See, VC, yeah. yeah. Let's get the real. Come in here, VC, and tell the truth of how you destroyed never. somebody's cell yeah. phone life. I did it I did it once. And and so let me just give, I'll just give a tiny you. bit of context. So the thing is, uh-uh. is that we don't want no context. Had, you did it. You're wrong. No, You're going to jail. No, 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 no. It was a no, sidekick. No, no. I got a sidekick. <laughs> no, he, 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 we had an agreement that I could in, continue to interact with Machama, even though we were in a relationship. And I told him he was free to interact with whoever he chose. Right. And so it was, so it was cool, except it ate at him. In other words, so, so we had a very deeply loving relationship and, then when I actually followed through on engaging with Nachama, he it freaked, he freaked him out. But we were laying together in bed one day, and the phone his phone was next to me, and I turned around and went to uh, it rang, and as I was picking it up to give it to him, there was women doing stuff like sending him vagina pictures or something. Fresh news. So it turns you out after all the so I've been honest about my my <sighs> interaction and he was being dishonest. Mm. So, I, so so I, that so justifies to go in and verify it. So, mm. 
So I was to go in and verify it. I, I, I checked his voicemail. I did. And I confronted him about it. Listen. I did. And I let, me just, phone records. let me just come oh, back to this. Oh, you said broke into someone's phone? Yeah. I thought you said broke no, someone's I, phone. No. That's like hilarious. Cracked, no, no, no. Like, I, like, like cracked the code. I went and listened to, voice, listen to voicemail to hear how much he had lied. Because mm. and when I realized and when I found out it was it was like it was it was it was just a woman. Let me just woman, stop you. Let, let, let like, me Veronica oh Veronica, let me just stop you. Yep. Cause you just framed this yep. shit up like you were working for the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> and it was right no, that you did it. That's what happened. Hey. I needed no, verification right. of his I'm wrongdoing. No, right. off top. That's why I did it. Females that's just why need, I did it. That's all, like, literally, females just need one thing, and then, like, if they're smart, if they dumb bitches, then they ain't going to do that. But one little, okay, I caught him in a lie, I have proof, boom, that's it. I don't have the time to argue, and you tell me, I ain't doing nothing, girl, and I'm like, I'm Bruh. not going to listen, though, no right? I don't believe. So, See, hey. I feel like if you try to get your man's phone and he fights you, he's cheating. You might as well just what? let him go. See, listen, I want you guys to listen to this logic. Why can I see your phone? Go ahead. I've actually because it's mine. God damn it, mind so, your business. <laughs> go ahead. See, I'm different though. <laughs> like, like I've actually been interested in entertaining an open relationship, right? Uh-oh. And when you and, see whatever, but it, when now, you entertain open relationships, the whole key factor in the words of the Black Soul Super Couple, Ozzy D and Ruby Davis, uh, Ruby D and Ozzy Davis. I said it backwards. It's about the dishonesty that tears relationships up. They actually were open for like Correct. quite a few years and things was popping and they got to a point where they was like, why do we even need these other people? I still want you. The fact that I can do all of this and we good. I don't, That's right. everybody's not open like this. This is why you the one for me. And right. then they shut it down and just remain monogamous forever because they realize it's not about the attraction of the other. It's not about mm. trapping people, catching you in a line and get phone. It's about being open. So yeah. Listen, if, we, yeah. listen, we've, we've got to take a quick break. So let me see your phone. <laughs> let you me check your never phone. never see my phone. God damn cool. it. Oh, you got to get that. You ain't going to meet my phone or my kids. <laughs> Witness protection. Zoe wants the witness protection plan. Zoe's not fucking around. (laughs) I'm just saying, the ladies have clearly, (laughs) I'm saying they've clearly articulated that women are not to be trusted. Somebody call me and tell me that that is a lie. 844-55-1. Listen, we've got somebody joining us today. Brother is a producer. He about to just produce beats. <laughs> he about to produce the beats as we go out. No DJ. He going to make the beat. So what's the brother's name? Kush Shalomar from Philly is in the building. Let's get some of this DJ beat production. Let's hear it right now. Get active. I'm Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. The voice of reason on Dash Radio. Yeah, we back in here. Can you truly trust your spouse with your secrets? How many? I want to know. How many husbands or wives have secret bank accounts? Too many. (laughs) My dad got You obviously can't trust, right? Your significant other. You you obviously can't trust them with the money. During during my marriage, that's as soon as the trust got broken between us, that's when Mm -hmm. I got my uh, my own account. Listen, we want to hear from anybody who wants to share some of the things you can't share. With your pap, with your spouse, because you don't trust them. The number to dial is eight four four fifty five dash one. The numbers, the phone lines are cracking. We're about to go there now. Pillow talk turned deadly on the voice of reason. Dun-dun-dun. Let's go to line three. Trey, you're on the voice of reason. Speak to us, Trey. And rep your city, Trey. Where you at? Line three, Trey. Trey, Trey. Well, let's keep it pushing. All right. Let's go to line two. Lips, Miss Lips oh, in the dang. building. Hey, hey, we heard boo. from Miss Lips in a minute. What up, Lo? Hey, baby boo. Miss Lips. Did we hang up on everybody? Is everybody gone? Dang. Nobody wants to talk to us. They're today. there? No, they're there. They're just. Miss Lips. So, no, we'll just get back into it. Get to your phone lines. Call us at 844 55 1. 
and we'll give you another shot to speak on it. We want to hear from everybody. We want to know what you guys have to say on this. Uh, Whitney? One thing I was going to say is it's, it's, this is something that we've already, we reiterate this on you know almost every show, is women's intuition. I'm sorry if I even think that I need to investigate or go into your phone. And this is something that I've learned. So now, you know, after going through a divorce and whatnot, now I know, like, if I even have a, a slight, you know, okay, something ain't right, that I have to think to go into your phone, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Because even after you go into the phone, you're just gonna, now it's just like paranoia. I don't want to mm-hmm. be in a relationship where I'm worried about, I'm not trying to be your mom, fool. Could I'm you? trying to... Trying to get it pop. Let me ask the question. Could your intuition be mistaken, right? You might be calling something intuition, but it could be fear. Mm. It could be paranoia, and you guys are labeling it intuition. Is there a, a, a different feeling from fear and the intuitive process? There is for oh, me. Oh, absolutely. Fear for me is in my head. Intuition is like in my gut. These motherfucking fake ass psychics. Listen, <laughs> she hits you with a geography. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. my gut start yeah. quivering. Right, and but if it's both, it's really a problem. Intuition is usually when the logic don't match up. Like mm-hmm. when fear is more so you you just don't feel comfortable with yourself, and so you project. But the intuition is they're telling me what I need to hear, or I'm a, I'm going about it the way I should go about it, but it still don't feel legit it still doesn't feel right man if stuff don't add up like if, if one plus one is not two i'm cool like, but that's that's relationships that's relationship. relationship doesn't use linear progression never so wow. one plus one might eat equal 12 wow. unfortunately this shit is not supposed to line up like that and that's the problem that's fear talking to me but fear the- needs shit to line up but see that's also the ooh, negative ooh. the negative thing if things don't add up well, they may not add up in a negative way, but they may not add up in a positive way. Like he said, one plus one can equal 12. That's a positive. It doesn't add up. Like me and this person got together. They doing this. I'm doing that. And together, we a superpower. I'm talking about literally, okay, you said that this is what's going on, but no, there's another bitch's panties right here. That don't add up mm. is what I'm, hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So this don't <laughs> add up, so I'm out. But you hear my response? Them panties don't belong. To me. <laughs> Look, see, ah, whose panties are those? Either. I don't know. Just clueless. They don't belong to me. You lying? I'm lying about the panties. I'm not curious how many to me. women have gone mm. through that. Call us if you have seen somebody else's panties in your man's couch. And, and what if four four fifty five dash one? And what if you set up some new rules after you broke in his phone and caught him? With all you all in his DMs, and you done seen what you needed to see, but yet you opt to stay in the relationship, and then you create new game rules. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel so like the, a lot of women do that. So yeah. I'm saying the new game rule would yeah. be give me that password yeah. to all Mm-mm. this shit, Mm-mm. nigga. Mm-hmm. I need the keys yep. to everything if if I'm ever going to trust you. <laughs> but most women, you guys are masters with leftovers. You know how to reheat shit. <laughs> Old shit. You know how to recook <laughs> up some beef, right? Mm-hmm. I'm oh, just yeah. saying. I'm I'll just throw it right on the grill. I'm the type of chick that'll start off the new year with a new dude because you was fucking around last year. <laughs> I'm out. But do you understand that that doesn't work with dudes? No. I don't. If I don't want to go back, do it matter? It, but we always get to walk away like this. Peace. Ah. You guys, no, you guys are like that the first week. The third week, oh, you guys are sad. Ass. Let's not. I mean, no, women that's... women fall fast, but men fall hard. I, I will smoke a bag of that when Same. they when they fall for mm. that one. But mm. most of the time, ninety seven percent of the time, yeah. it ain't the one. It's just the fun. And True. when you walk away, we be like, ha ha, and done. True. <laughs> Thank you for the nice little penal bathtub. <laughs> funny. <laughs> the phallic soaking. But you know what? Nine times out of ten, neither one of us are fucking with the one. How many times have you been with somebody that you dating and every single one of them was not the one? Some of them was just the something to do or the how time do, being. And how do you even find out who's the one? Is there a 
sign on his forehead. Like, come on, everybody. Oh, the one. There's you hella, how many? You. Nine billion people in this world, and there's only going to be one? I'm sorry. You know who tells you who the one is? My mama. No. My girlfriend's bro. Your Yoni. Your vagina. Your vagina be like, that's him, boo. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's him. Mm-hmm. That's him. Okay, here we go. Line two. <laughs> D. Speak on it. You're in the voice of reason. Let's talk about it right now. Do you trust your partner with all your secrets? Would you give your partner your password? Would you? Holla at me. Tell me now. D. What's up? What's up, man? Oh, what's up, man? Yo, this is D from Brooklyn, son. D from Speak Brooklyn. Speak on it. What's up, Brooklyn? Yo, um, Whitney, man, yo, I'm with you on the crack the phone tip, son. Yeah. Yo, I crack, I crack phones out here, son. That's, That's so I'm going to get your contact. <laughs> I'm going to get your contact. Yo, son, this is what happened to me in April. So I, I, I get up with a chick and everything was cool. And I played it like this. I said, look, you can have my password. And I got nasty pictures and everything, everything. Mm. So I said, so let me look at your little phone. And she was pulling her phone back and this and that. So I cracked the phone in front of her. Mm. So I said, give me a phone. Cracked the cell, I cracked the cell phone, bust in, boom, 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 boom. So then she changed the password. So then later on, in the late, in later, like a couple weeks later, <laughs> I found out um, she was 11, 11 months late on her car. Mm. She had got evicted. Mm. She was divorced. And whoop de whoop, and I, it, it got really bad after that because I had gotten into more information. I had got her whole life. She mm. didn't even tell me none of that. Mm, so I had to much. dodge a bullet and charge all of that to the gang. See? Damn. That's, see, that's, that's why you got to crack codes. That's, it's, it's healthy to do so. It is not healthy. It's good for re. I learned how to research. It's good. It's good. Hey, good looking, D. We Let's appreciate see, the call, good man. Good job, D. Thank you, D. A- <laughs> all right, bro. Peace, 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 peace. Line three, Mike. Hey, what's up, pal? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, pal? What is up? What is up? Man, this is uh, another brilliant topic, though, man. But y'all had a similar story, man. I had this girl that I was talking to, and one day I was with her one day, but I, I had left my computer at her house. And, uh-huh. like, I had left my Google Voice account open. Mm-hmm. So instead of her just, like, a normal... A normal, like, confident woman would just close me out. Well, her, she took her nosy ass and went on my account, and she saw all the other girls I was talking to. <laughs> and, like, she ended up calling the girls and said, yeah, I'm fucking him now and all this. And, and I was like, my whole thing is, if you're going to, if you're snooping through someone's phone or email, I could, I could guarantee you 90% of the time you're going to find something you don't like. So I don't understand why people do it. It's no... Such thing is you going to someone's phone, you gonna see something you gonna you gonna see something you, that you're not gonna like. It's never it's always an ordeal situation when you do that when you snooping. That's just my advice to everyone. People just like drama, Mike. But is that okay? Is that okay to do? Like, no, you're bored. You, you literally you're bored. So I'm not a confident person because I want to know if my man is cheating on me. I'm not confident. No. I agree with that. Yeah. You're not confident. So you're a loser. <laughs> but you just, Arana, you just said that you just need one little answer. But I don't have to go about it that way. But that's your, that's your if he left his laptop at your house and it's right there and you have your one answer right in front of you, you ain't going to open it up. A, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn. I don't believe you. My y'all. thing is this. I don't trust <laughs> I don't other people. You. I don't trust other people. Period. So you like, don't trust your man. I don't trust. He's another I don't, person. I don't trust other people. Like, I'll tell you what I want you to know. And I'm going to tell you that I'll tell you what I want you to know. Mm. What you want me to know is up to you. Mm. I'm not feeling. Uh-huh. I'm good. Like, I don't need all that. Trust what, is an illusion. I have, so for Arana, what kind of questions are important for you to ask a guy when you meet him? His lifetime goals. Has he committed any crimes? You know, and that's like public information. You know, most so of the you don't time. really go too deep with people. No, that's not necessarily true. It's like people. Here's 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 what's real. I'm around a one on one, real lesson. People will tell you everything that you want to know about them if you let them talk long mm-hmm. enough. Wow, word. You don't have to snoop for nothing. People yeah. love to talk about themselves. If you just right. engage right. them enough, just engage them enough and be an active listener, they will tell you everything they want you to know in verbal that cues, nonverbal cues. Uh-huh. You just gotta pay the fuck attention. Wow. 
Who said? Hey, Who hey, had I said? Oh, Go ahead, Mike. Shit, Mike. man. I know you're still oh, there, man. man. <laughs> 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 Right, tell me if you agree with uh, tell me if you agree with me and agree with me on this though with uh all the ladies. Like, I don't really think full disclosure is healthy for a relationship. Like I don't think a woman ha- like me personally, like I don't think a woman has to know all my shit. Like I'm going to have my man cave and you just going to have to trust that I'm okay. Do y'all agree with that? I do. Listen, women do. don't trust yeah. us, Mike. <laughs> and why should Mike? They? Why, like literally Women are like the IRS. They're auditing everything we do. Am I, am I lying? Yes, I mean, you are. No. Am I fucking lying? Everybody, women are like the IRS, man. Women, everybody's different, though. Everybody needs a piece of privacy to themselves. Listen, I don't care just who you are. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Veronica, Veronica is like a fucking superhuman woman, right? She's She's Kryptonian. <laughs> She's not. No, she's not I'm, Comptonian. She's Comptonian. not from Compton. She's not from Inglewood. <laughs> she's from another planet. Most women, in general, some but all, some but not all, right? <laughs> Most women behave in the way that I'm describing right now, and to me, I think it's disingenuous for the good women that are in here right now to be protecting the women who do this shit on a day to day basis. I'm not trying to protect those women. I'm just trying to turn the mirror around on them women and show them that they losing. Women be like, nigga. I don't listen. (laughs) But look, do you guys remember that guy that had like 14 kids? Kate, Kate and Ann or Ann and Kate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate and Kate. Yeah, so he ended up going on another show and I guess he exposed their whole terrible relationship. And one of his main problems with his wife is that she didn't engage him when he would come in late. She didn't ask where he had been. So to him, that meant she just didn't Don't give care. a damn about him. Don't care. So some people mm-hmm. require that. What if he had one nut? He may have. Let had me one just nut. say, how would we know? Kate would have came out and said it. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. the people we love the most, the You're people right about who that. are the closest to us tend to out us the most. They use that information. Trust is a lie. Somebody Superhead right made now. a whole career off of it. I'm, I'm just Superhead. saying. Mm. Superhead her is whole, still going. That's what I'm saying. She's her book going. is Pillow Talk. Yes. Mm. I've, I've had to keep some very some secrets for some very powerful men because they're in a category of one in the world. And I've had to keep really high-level secrets on their behalf because... It's it, because it's prudent. So I, I don't know. I think that at some point you have to grow up and and figure out that, you know, some things are really consequential and you just can't run around talking about them just because you may feel like it. I, I have had to keep very powerful, meaningful secrets for men. That's true, too. That's true, too. It, sometimes being that way crushes your integrity. It doesn't even have anything mm-hmm. to do about the mm-hmm. other people. Mm-hmm. If you're walking around mm-hmm. talking Absolutely. about everything that you have went through with the past relationship, you look like right. the loose lips right. to the new boo. Right. New boo ain't going to trust you with his good shit. He ain't going to trust you with no information. Not even just loose lips. I think what people say about other people is a reflection of them, of them. more mm-hmm. so than yeah. the other people. Uh, yeah. Nice little warm and fuzzy. Feels good. <laughs> but let me just you. say this. Which is easier it's, it's serious let's ask this it's though serious let's ask this which is easier to do reveal deeply concealed truths about yourself to a real person face to face or complete an online survey that asks the same questions Ooh, e-harmony don't play let me just tell you <laughs> at all People don't like talking to people. You say people mm-hmm. want to talk to you about their real shit. They don't want to talk to you about their real shit. No, they exactly. want to keep a comfortable conversation going. As long as the conversation is comfortable, the shit could be about fucking Lucky Charms. Now that I right? agree with. They just want to keep a comfortable conversation going where rapport is being built. Mm-hmm. But they don't really want to get into the fucking deep, dark secrets. Right. Yeah. Because they see the uncomfortable. That's not, they, my, that's not my tribe. That's right. not my tribe. They see the deep dark secrets as weaknesses. This shit ain't gonna get me no pussy. Mm. <laughs> I'll share this after I score a couple of touchdowns. You know what's also deep about that though? Just like people like to build rapport, sometimes people will share 
one little secret nugget to give you the illusion that you're getting to know them better. Mm. Mm. Well, see, that the was why that, that was That's why good. I had that question That's for Arana because I feel like if you do really genuinely care about somebody, you ask questions. Let's get back to these phone lines, though. Yeah, let's do it. Jesus. Line six, we don't even know this person's name. So tell us your name and where you're calling from. Line six, you're on the Voice of Reason. Speak on it. Yellow? They don't even have a voice. Look at that. They ain't got a name or a voice. That's what happens when you use a payphone. That's Ariel. 2015. From Little Mermaid. Let's go to line two, certified. You're on the line. Speak on it. Certified. Oh, what's going on, Voice of Reason? What's, what's happening? Uh, thanks, thanks for taking my call. Word, word. So, so I, I, I can go either way on this. You asked the questions, though, about um, whether or not a woman can be trusted. And then I got a story, a nice little juicy piece of gossip where <laughs> it wasn't me, but where confiding in one went real bad. So I'll leave it up to you guys uh, which one you want to hear. Hey, man, but just speak on it, brother. Also, Whatever you want to say. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I agree with, with Veronica because I've, I've become a person that has been uh, uncomfortable with lying to mm-hmm. people, to anybody. You know, and, mm-hmm. I, and, I, and, I, and I'm even uncomfortable mm-hmm. with hearing lies. Mm-hmm. You know, when I know the homies are lying, like, like man, why are you telling me that story? I was like, I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're embellishing and, and, and making it better. And so I, I, I really do believe that, that, that you, are, you do become bulletproof in the truth. You know, uh, if you just go ahead and, and just tell it like it is, yeah. you know, really, really no harm can come to you. Because in, in my youth, and the couple, uh, I'm married now, but the couple meaningful relationships that I did have, you know, I was giving up game. You know, those on the street would say I was slipping. You know, I remember I had this Google head, and I thought she was a masterpiece, but she really wasn't nothing but a poster. And oh, I gave shit. her, you know, some information. <laughs> I gave her plenty of information. Damn that she, she could have used against me. And I remember I told her about some bread that I had coming in, and she even asked me. She, she, she was grimy, uh, you know, hood rat. And, uh, but, but, I, but I gave her that information because we were connecting, and, and she was telling me about things she wanted to do in her life, but, she, you know, she just really was talking. She, she didn't want to execute any of those things. So I told her some things about me, told her about some bread that I had coming in, and she was like, why are you even telling me about this? And that and that, that kind of clicked that you know she really could have used that information, you know, against me, and and uh, you know so then I started to become a little bit more, you know, tight-lipped about who I shared you know deeper things or you know more sensitive material with, and uh, you know even even uh, another relationship I had you know some dirt that I did in the streets I let her know what was going on, and 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 I'm sure I'm sure these women told people. But but what I'm saying about bulletproof is it never came back to me. It was never in my face that you did this, you did that. She didn't she didn't have her homies try to get this bread when it when it came into my when it, when it came into my hands. So I figured you know that that stands the reason that man we just go ahead and tell the truth. You know you bulletproof because I, I didn't want her to 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 know that I had this money and then try to come back and oh well you got this money while you're hiding it from me. It's how much, child how support. Much money okay, we cool. About? Hey, man, I appreciate you sharing the yes. information, man. We really appreciate you calling and hanging on the line. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. Hey, call us at 844-55-1. I know the numbers is uh, the phone lines is jammed right now, but that's all right. We're going to get you in. Hey, man, we appreciate everybody who calls in and shares their story. Mm. Let me just say, I just think when it comes to secrets, the secret that women keep above all others is a man's dick. Hell yeah, he's the weak. <laughs> huh? The the what? The secret like if that you got women good keep? dick, women keep that a secret. They don't want to share that to with their friends. Uh, I tell. I I'm, do. I'm like, oh, girl, he did this little twirly twirl, flippity dippy. It's a trick to it, though. Though there, there's some truth y'all into know it, but how, y'all know how we women won't tell. are. We will no, no. You you can't tell anybody that. You can tell your best girl that, but even with her, even your best girl, you can't give her all the details. 
You got to say, girl, he put it down. and he Why did can't this, you give this, your this, best this. girl the details? Because you don't want to put too many pictures in her head and Listen, have her, like, mentally, you know, screw your dude while you What would talking. happen if she mentally screwed your dude? Nothing. You just don't want to picture that yourself. No, I'm like, girl, I yes. I tell them every single detail. Me and my best friend have shared dick pics. I've yeah. seen the dicks of the dudes and, and vice versa. So you mean to tell me. So that's interesting. Nothing is sacred. A dude took a picture of his dick, and then you and your oh, committee yeah. See, of now that's something oh, dick I'm not off dick top. graders, not committee. Oh wow! Conspirer. Man, I said one person. Saying, don't all send I'm me saying a is, <laughs> don't send me a dick pic. <laughs> all I'm saying is, are y'all listening, men? I put a dick pic on Twitter once. I don't like dick pics. I said, yo, tell me who this is. Don't be sending me this shit. And he Nigga. he didn't tell me. I said, I'm gonna put. I'm, okay. I don't like unsolicited Twitter. Twitter that. And his phone number. Let me ask you all this question, and this is for the callers as well, 844-55-1. Can an invasion of privacy be grounds for termination of a relationship? For me. Yes. But oh, yeah. you've already cracked a few phones. You too, Veronica. No, Jesus. I've, I've never done that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the producer guy has the app that you guys need to crack into phones. With just the invisible in case. something? Phone vault. I'm good. Phone vault. Yeah, it's an app. It's see, called dudes, Phone Vault. See, Zo, and I'm trying to tell you, these 2015 dudes, they're not like you. These niggas got apps, man. <laughs> they gonna get they got shit. apps. They got all kinds of stuff that they're the ones. They're more insecure. I'm sorry, there's more insecure what? niggas out in the streets than chicks. I'm just trying. Well, dang. The fact that it's phone an vault. app just yeah. shows you where society and it's in a man's is at this phone. point. Yeah. Somebody sat down and developed that. Damn, Genius. I'm going to save all app. these hoes. Dang. That's crazy. Does the title husband slash wife equate to an all access pass Mm -hmm. to invade any privacy that your spouse might have had before you guys got married? No. No. Some people believe that. Mm -mm. Like, I don't need to know. I mean, if a woman sees the streaks in your drawers, she (laughs) might as well see the pics on your profile. The pics on your profile. (laughs) Just say it. Can we just appreciate that Jay Ray really damage is playing media? right now? <laughs> I'm just asking Can questions. Can you ask that question again? No, because you weren't listening. Let's Sorry. go to the next line. Line one. Oh, I was about to. We don't want to. We don't want to recognize Jay Rudy damage. Huh? No, we just we go. Don't. Okay. No. He was dissing in the West Coast. Line Sorry. One. I love Jay Rudy, but that was dissing the West. <laughs> sneak dissing too. It wasn't like really, really direct diss. It was sneak diss. When the East is in the house. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, it the was. East Coast, West Coast battle. Yeah, I'm from I Chicago. I was neutral. Don't be all conscious and then this is sideways. <laughs> like, okay. What is happening? Dope ass beat. Love the record, but I remember. <laughs> Hip hop beef. That's <laughs> what you, we have. Nah, no, I get it. We couldn't let you get off the hook with that. I just wanted to. Okay. Line one, you're on. Speak to us. <laughs> Voice of reason. <laughs> hey, what's going on, family? Hey. What's happening, man? Dude, this Ronan. Hey, what is your name? It says yeah. Houdini or something. What's your name? <laughs> I don't know. There's someone put it on there, but this is Ronan. Oh, what up, Ronan? What's happening, Mike? Ah, uh, chilling. Just uh, this conversation. Uh, the conversation about a uh, pillow talk. Uh, it, it's a really serious one because I had an incident with, that speaks to this, mm-hmm. and um, then like suffered work injury earlier in the day. Um, Ex girlfriend decided she wanted to go into my computer, which I didn't put a lock on. Or I didn't need to on my phone. She looked in my messages because I was sharing uh, erotic poetry with some friends, and she thought I was trying to holler at some other chick. So the fact that I had, like, a gaping wound in my head and I was recovering and had stitches, Shit. she decided she wanted to argue about this mystery girlfriend or chick that I'm messing with. And I told her, it's like, if I sat there and told my ex-girlfriend about uh, me cheating at the one time, what makes you so different? So already when you have someone digging in your phone or – going behind you, they already enter the relationship expecting verification on their fears. And me personally, mm-hmm. I, I, I never really yeah. dig on her phone. I just like, my, my whole thing is like, if they get cocky, they get sloppy. So I'll just sit back and I'll pay attention to their body language. I said, pay attention to conversation. Certain things they do. Now, if you said they get dressed up to go to the bookstore, uh, uh, I'm going to raise an eyebrow too on that one. You know, just doing stuff unusual. So that is what I see. Ronan, you speak in gospel. I love it, man. I I love it. I love it. I just, listen, I think relationships as it is currently or as they are currently constructed are fairy tale machines. 
Speak on it. Yeah. They're not real. Mm-hmm. Speak They're not on substantive. It. They have all of these default concepts in place. Trust is a default concept, right? But if you really understood what right. trust is about, really trust is truth. And truth doesn't have a mechanism within it that explains itself. Truth has no intention. It just is. It just is. It just is. Yeah, truth. There's no agenda to truth. But most people are trying to live up to a concept and an idea, and then the expectations come out of the idea. When the expectations are not met, people are disappointed, frustrated, angry. I mean, this is why relationships are problematic. I'm going to tell you something, Cole. I told somebody recently, and shout out to the young man that heard me say this to him, but borders and boundaries limit the limitless. When you start putting titles and borders and bullshit on something that's meant to be limitless and unconditional, that's where you start to fuck up, and that's where you start to perform for people. But wait, isn't some personal privacy kind of a border? No, because if you're giving them their own personal privacy as well, you know what I'm saying? It's it's one of those things where you got to let them in. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ronan. No, I'm sorry. I definitely agree with what you were saying because – if you have to put this person in a box, yeah. you're not respecting them as an individual. I mean, like it's probably right. two individuals right. being themselves, right. being comfortable with themselves and building something together. You guys came from different backgrounds. I'm not expecting her to be a virgin, vice versa. Like when I told my ex, like, hey, my, you know, I guess my body count when it came to sex, you know, she came and called me a slut puppy. And I said, I'll give you a fair decision to either you can roll with it or, or beat feet and keep pushing. Mm-hmm. And she decided to down for a while, but say, look, if you make this decision, it is yours to make. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you anything different. I'm just telling you where I came from. Now, if you can't be cool with that, honestly, you can't be cool with yourself. You better get on oh, down, let me Scorpio. Ask you. Let me ask you, because wow, he's, he's, dropping, he's dropping some good shit here. I wonder, should you share your body count with your... I'm just curious. It already happens. Well, I'm just saying, like, okay, here's my newlywed or, or my fiancé. Right. Okay, I guess shit. I'm at uh, my question would be my question would be why is the person asking me? What are they going to do with that information? What is it going to do? Some people want to know about it. Mm. Would well, would that be a turn off well, I, for me? Well, the thing is, that I, they smashed the too many. The, well, the reason I presented the body count was because we had a conversation about uh, the, the arena of sex. You know, things about what each other like or whatever we uh, ever do. And I said, on the sake of health and actually confidentiality. I told her what it was, so she shouldn't have no surprises. You know, I wasn't expecting anything from her. I was like, hey, just be honest with yourself, because I'm telling you, I'm being honest not because of you, but because I'm honest with my truth, and I'm not running, not running from it. Bam. You know, but mm-hmm. you'll have some you have people sit there and hop, scotch, find out, well, you know, I only mess with a couple people, and then they have about 12 STDs, mm. free clinic knows them by first name basis. Nope. You know, just all kind of shit. Wow. Hey, listen, Ronan, you know we always appreciate yeah. you calling in, chiming in. We love it, man. Call us anytime. You know we're going to be here three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 7 p.m., Voice of Reason, Hot Button, Dash, Radio. It's what we do. We appreciate you, man. Well, Thanks, I, man. Hey, uh, Joe, I wanted to say, man, uh, definitely I got stuck on the first chapter because of the homework I need to do. So I had to repeat. I had to read it for the fourth time today. Damn. And, um... Uh, I mean, definitely, it, it, it's some hard hitting homework. So if you guys haven't got that book yet, y'all fucking up. Wow! Thanks, That's Ronan, love. man. Damn, I appreciate That's that, brother. She's Louise, man. Have you ever offered your partner free access to your cell phone, email, Facebook, Bebo accounts, Instagram, Twitter, as a gesture of trust, hoping to stimulate openness? And did that shit work? 844-55-1. That's the number to dial. Listen, we're going to take a quick break. And when we return, the phone lines, they're all yours. I'm coming to you, phone lines. Let's get busy. I want to hear your stories. The same stories you can't share with your partner. Because you don't really trust them. They lighten up, too. I want to hear. Jesus, we'll be back. (laughs) Coming to the phone lines. We'll talk to you in a second. Peace. I'm so willing. The voice of reason. The voice of reason on Dash Radio. Oh man, the phone lines are berserk 
right now. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about can you really trust your partner? Pillow talk, poisonous pillow talk. Gosh, can you tell? I mean, they're the closest thing to you. I mean, you're open, you're vulnerable, and they're taking that information and using it against you. Chris, can you intro these this brother right here who's making these beats live? What's my yeah, man's name? Yeah, it's my, my homie Kush Shalomar, uh from the uh, group Written House out of Philly. Now he's a producer. Came out here, took a leap of faith, so he's out here to do his thing. Over here making beats. I love it, man. Listen, don't be afraid. When you call into this show, I mean, I know Arana Lopez is a, is a professional comedian. She might... She might heckle you. But the reality of it is we really want to hear your story. We are going to sit and listen. Share with us. Maybe you're sharing something with us that you can't share with your significant other because you don't really trust them. Maybe you got burned by your significant other when you gave them the passcodes. Or maybe you got burned because they didn't tell you the truth about their side hoe. Oh, it's always the man, huh? It's oh, always side the man. Side hoe is a nigga or a chick. No, no it's impossible yep. for a man yep. to be a hoe. Oh, he got, I got plenty of A man of can only be celebrated when he fucks many women. Hoes for show. <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> Dude, did you know that I found out that the average gay man has 75 partners a year? 75. Damn. Wow. Because you're, you're dealing with two highly wow. sexual individuals, and that's on both ends. They ha- they getting down. Wow. And my my one of my homeboys wow. who you know is a part of that community, he confirmed it. He was like, "Oh hell yeah!" I was like, oh, "Okay, y'all better work it, man." Wow. I don't That's know how I feel. Of- I, wow. I because, got a little queasy. Is be- that intuition? Because men just the just as it's your conquest to go after women because that's your desire. That doesn't leave just because your desire is is man. It's it's the same, and so it's increased because it's coming at both ends. Interesting. Yeah. This is an interesting Look at psychology. Movie. Look at the world. Look at the world. Crazy. <laughs> so listen, phone lines are cracking. Let's get to the lines right now. We want to know: Can you really trust your partner? It's really trust, man. Shit, it's tough. Let's go to line three. Monkey bond. Yo. Yeah. Monkey Bond. <laughs> it's cracking, son. It's good to the family, brothers and sisters. Hey, hey, what's good? Hello. Happy hey. Friday. Hi, boo. I just want, I want to say that um, you could trust your girl or your boyfriend. I had a girlfriend that was close, too close. She knew almost everything about me. She knew every birthmark on my body. She knew the size from my left testicle to my right. What is she what? doing with that information now? Laughing with her friends. Jesus. It's a double-edged sword. I just want to tell you that. It got to the point where she knew how I start out my conversations to my other brothers. And then she caught me. And then I had to go. It was just too much. Wow. So are you saying because she knew everything Wait, about you, she was able to control you? Or... That's what he's saying. She, she know too much. She caught, she caught me. Not really caught. She caught my friend slipping because I'm good. But my friends thought it was me she was talking to. And then it got to the point where she knew how to say what up to my friends. Because my friends, got a, we got a lingo. Don't answer the text message if for me. If I don't go what's cracking, lowercase c, you, oh, that's, hell, easy. That's, that's our lingo. <laughs> That's not illegal. This is why you women don't trust dudes, <laughs> right? They got apps and secret codes. Secret. If I answer, hey, come on, listen. Man. You know who we learned hoes. deception from? Hoes for show. Dudes is there, are hoes. But listen, isn't there a difference between discretion and deception? Maybe sometimes we're being discreet to not give you certain information. 
Certain information could hurt you. We could be <laughs> trying to protect you, which oh, is our God. role. Boo. That's a good Miss America. I like that, Zoe. Word. Dang. Word, that's the, just saying, that shit made so sense. Sad. The super dodge. Everything's so sad. I'm, he said everything's so sad. <laughs> everything's so sad. <laughs> super dodge. Hey, yeah, man, we appreciate the call, right. man. Monkey Bond, we appreciate right, the call. Yes. All right, Zoe. Hey, you all right, Zoe. brother. We'll holler at you in a minute, man. Go ahead, Veronica. Make your point. So what if your life was so transparent that everything that you did, you were proud to share with another human being? Like, what if your life was, you loved it, you were so invested and engaged in it and so proud of it, right, that it would be an honor to have another person witness it? That's how I feel. I think that that's, that's what's up. I mean... I want that for myself. I want that for who I share my, my life with. I, I don't, right? It's like, because it's like when my when my ex husband, for example, when I was when I was divorcing him, and he was tripping because I, you know, I went on notice. I'm like, I'm going to be interacting with this chama. You're on notice. This is what it's going to be. I'm not apologizing for it. This is my truth. And so he would go around. He'd call my friends, which is what made him a bitch. He'd call his family, my friends. Do you know what she's doing? It's so outrageous. But it didn't, it didn't faze me because I was actually, I was actually so proud of what I was giving myself that it didn't really matter what anybody thought. So you become bulletproof because it doesn't mm-hmm. matter because mm-hmm. you've reconciled yourself with the truth of your behavior and your actions. And when you do that, then you're actually that is what freedom actually is. Okay. Having to hide anything is in fact prison. So so listen, we got to get to these callers. They're they're. They're, they're going nuts right now. We got to get them in here. And I just want to hear from the people who have hired private investigators because they don't trust their partner. Oh, my God. I know you're out there. I know you're listening. Oh, yeah. I know you've done it. Let's just stop playing games. <laughs> Line six, Tracy, you're on The Voice of Reason. Hey, everybody. Hey, Tracy, what's happening? Hey, Tracy. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I have a doozy for y'all. There we go. So my dad used to teach me plant a seed, watch it grow. Okay? So I met this guy, and we met online, and he decided to fly to come see me. And, you know, we were hanging out and everything and, you know, got to the pillow talk section of it. He told me he didn't do it. He doesn't do pillow talk. Okay. Hmm. So me thinking, you know, I'm just going to draw him in. And, you know, I started sharing some things. But like I said, plant a seed, watch it grow. I started telling him some things about myself. Well, eventually he went home and it had to do with money. So a couple days later, you know, he called me and he asked for something. And I'm like, okay. What, what did he ask for? Money. He asked for a bottle of cologne. First, he started with a bottle of cologne. Now, mind you, I bought one <laughs> when he came here. Go ahead. Tell us, Tracy. We okay. go we go kick okay. his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought him one when he was here, you know, and he's looking at me like, oh, she's spending money, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so he had the nerve to call me and ask me for a bigger one. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, whatever. A few days later, he just called me and asked me for $400 oh, no. to pay Come a bill. <laughs> Get so, uh, that's yeah, a little outrageous. to pay a bill. Now, he knows that I'm buying a house right now, right. and I'm in the middle of closing costs and termite inspections right. and whatnot. And I'm like, really? Got so, mind you, I haven't heard from this dude for, you know, days and days and days when he first got home off and on. I'm like, no text, no phone calls, no nothing. Now he's blowing up my phone because he needs money. That's crazy. Why did you tell him about your bread? <laughs> because I wanted to plant a seed and see if it grew. And you watch that. You see, seed. so listen. Uh oh, uh oh, Doctor uh, Doc Barham is in this in the building right hey, now. Doc. He just joined the hey, the conversation, and he 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 said something very profound, Doc. I know you're listening to us. We're, we're, we're framing this up. We're talking about trust and privacy and poisonous pillow talk, sharing shit with significant others that maybe later come back to bite you. Man, mm-hmm. 
Talk to me, dog. Did you say women are always testing us? That's what I heard. Yeah, is that? Uh, it sounded like you were saying that planting the seed was kind of a test. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Because mm, mm, mm. my intuition told me that you I'm know, dating a criminal. He was broke. He was broke, and he was claiming he was more than what he was. Did you give him a little yoni? Right. Did you give him a little yoni? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> now, yeah, if you, I did. Uh, so let's just go to that part. Like, okay. If you felt and knew and were aware that he was broke and you still gave him. People got needs, man. I'm just saying. You have no, to be. No, I, just... I gave it to him before I found out that I, you know, thought this way about him. Thought mm. that he was broke? Yeah, yeah. Was the sex good? Oh, my God, it was fabulous. Hell yeah, that's the only reason these niggas are alive, man. <laughs> I know he was screwing for a place to stay. I'm just saying. That's the <laughs> oldest trick in the brook. Oh, no, no, no. He got mad because I told him that he was doing it like, you know, he was on a job. So, you know, maybe that's what he was trying to get. I bet you he's a professional sugar baby. He was trying to get Dude, a new address, yeah. Tracy. I'm he wanted your address. A sugar baby. He looking for a sugar mama. Mm-hmm. A sugar baby he a sugar is baby. hilarious. That's it. <laughs> it's 2015 now. Doc, Dudes me, are hoes. I'm let, me, let me talk to you, Doc, really quickly. Why is trust so difficult in intimate relationships? Why is it so difficult to maintain? Why is it so difficult to attain? Can you speak? Um, what if it isn't? Speak on it. Well, when you trust yourself, like Veronica was talking about, right? What does that mean when you trust yourself? Seriously. Is it rhetorical? Oh, yeah. I'm asking everybody. <laughs> what does it mean when you trust yourself? When you don't trust yourself, you're going to project that out there onto the world. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. And you will actually start having your beliefs confirmed. Mm-hmm. All you have to do mm-hmm. right now is you can say, mm-hmm. what if I assume the belief that I that the world is not a safe place. What if I assume the belief that people are not trustworthy? If I assume that, you will actually start, your whole nervous system will start organizing your perception in such a way that you will begin to perceive that. Whatever you will start having it. That's right. It'll it'll start to become proved for you. And unless you reflect upon it and wait, say, wait a minute, am I creating my reality with my thoughts, my expectations, and my beliefs? If you don't take that on, what you'll do is you'll believe that what you're experiencing is actually the truth, mm-hmm. as opposed to the way you're organiz- organizing your reality. So let me your come own back. Beliefs and mm-hmm. perceptions. Let me come back to the beginning of this show. Because the, the, the doc came in and made it clear. I keep telling y'all these relationship games you're playing, because he just described, I would say, I would be honest, about 95, 97% of everybody. Mm-hmm. Because that real love, that unconditional love, that real good, good stuff is really hard to come by. And most people are playing these political games he just described. Like, I can't reiterate it enough. He said, what is your truth? What is it? You know, most people, they haven't even had a formal introduction to their truth yet or their purpose. The relationship is their purpose. And their partner meeting some expectation is their purpose. And that prevents them from being in their truth. And thus, I need to trust you. Do you understand? I need to be able to trust you. When you're speaking to somebody from that space, I need to be able to trust you. You already scared. You've already created a false reality to come in. I'm just saying. Well, to answer his question, though, the original question was, do you trust yourself? And when you trust yourself, what you're bringing about is confidence, direction. You're unbothered. The bulletproof was the word Veronica used. You're unbothered about another person, their reality, their lies, their mistruths, their untruths. It doesn't matter to you. So you just go on and live your journey and being your truth, and you ain't got to deal with ABS. But let's not let's not make being in your truth some shit as easily accessible as going to the 99 cent store and getting some, some, you know, it's not some Shasta soda. It's not that easy. <laughs> You've never been to the 99 cent store. I'm just store. saying. They I have Shasta. I'm Yo, just Shasta's saying. Bomb, a lot of people. They got the purple one. They got the purple one, right? A lot of people think, oh, I'm in my truth. <laughs> no, it's, it's that's some arduous shit to go inside, fight the demons Embrace, oh, wait a minute, embrace the demons, mm-hmm. 
embraced the darkness, offered him some tea, right? It's, it's hard to do that. So most people find it easier to rely on trust. I'm going to trust you with this darkness. Don't reveal it. Don't hurt me with it. Sometimes that darkness is there for you to embrace it so it can dissipate. Most people don't. I'm just. Let's get to the phone lines. I didn't mean to drop too much, but let's get mm. to the phone lines. The phone lines are wide open. Who do I have here? 844. Let's go to line one. Red. What up, Red? Hey, Red. What's going hey, on, Red. bro? It's Sean T. Everybody else? How's everybody hey. doing? It's been a while. Yeah. yeah what up, what up man? Long. Hey, boo. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're like, hey, what's well, happening? Um, <laughs> I would I would go here with it, and you know, it's not a, it's not an easy road, though. It really isn't. But whenever you start to feel uncomfortable with what you're telling your partner, you need to keep going and push through that, mm. because that's where the, that's where the growth is. Whenever you're able to tell anyone and everyone all of your business, they can't hurt you with it. Mm-hmm. Like Veronica said earlier, you mm-hmm. are bulletproof. Everything that I've done in my life. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not, I'm, I can't be ashamed of it because I did it. So whenever you talk to someone, uh, especially a partner or a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, if you can open up to them and tell the truth about everything and anything, they can't hurt you with anything. Now that's something that they have to accept and something they have to deal with. If they, you tell them something that might potentially hurt them, that's actually on them, whether or not they want to accept it or not. But if you're but if you're righteous in your truth, if you believe in yourself and you trust yourself, there's no, no one else can hurt you. They can't hurt you. Deep hop bro. It's it's like you better get it's, on it's that. Not, it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean it's it's a very difficult road. I I tell you a quick what real quick story. I was um dating a young lady and she knew that I had multiple women. I went a hundred miles away up to St. Louis. And I ended up sleeping with her mother. Mm. Whoa, swag! <laughs> didn't know. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know it was her mother. Didn't okay. know it was her mother. Okay. It was about a month late. About a month later, I ended up going to a barbecue at her family's house. Now her father is one of the top cancer doctors in the country. Now, her not only did her mother not tell her daughter, but her daughter felt. I guess she felt it. She felt mm-hmm. some weird vibe on her mom, and she she confronted her mom about it. She's like, "Do you know Charles?" And I'm like, "I was like, yeah, I know her." I said, "Actually, I said I slept with your mother. This is at the barbecue." Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I wish I was there. Y'all just I listen like, to this grandma? man. I'll... Let's say, come on, let's get this man some I was, space. I was waiting for grandma. This is beautiful. Get this man the space. Go ahead, speak on it. <laughs> her mother told her the greatest bold faced lie due to the fact of who her father was. She said it will hurt the community because of what her father does if if our family was to separate and break up. And I just I just looked, laughed, and I was like, well, that's not the truth because the fact is you lied to me acting like you were single mm. when I met her mother. Not only did she proceed to get a hotel room, we got down. And then, like I said, a month later, we end up meeting and confronting each other. Like, to this day, as far as I know, her and her mother's relationship is shattered. Now, hey, she can, hey, she's wanted to continue seeing me after that. Hey, Red, let me ask you this question. Which one had the best yoni, mama or daughter? Speak on it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My, mama was killing the game. <laughs> Mama put that old cougar cooter on you, huh? Mama got experience. Hey, when he said he went to the barbecue, I was like, where's grandma? Where's grandma? We got to hide grandma, bro. He's in here. <laughs> it, hey, man, I love that situation, but they they just were not. Her mother was not living. She was living a lot. But look, you saying she something real big, Red. And do you guys remember, what was it, Enter the Dragon, Bruce no. Lee? Yes. You remember the Bruce Lee film? Sure. At the beginning of the film, you know, he's demonstrating his martial arts and he's whooping ass. And then his teacher comes and says, you know, shit, your shit is extraordinary. What are you going to do now? And then he was like, well, no, I'm going to keep training and whatever. And then he was like, no, I got a mission for you. I want you to go because there was a dude in the Shaolin. 
he betrayed Shaolin and he, you know, this is the dude with the little hand that comes off, right? Right, right. Killed the homeboy Jim Kelly. I was real pissed off about the racism, in it, but that's another story. But <laughs> he says something that was hella important. He says, when you destroy the image, you destroy the man. And then, you know, in the final scene is when Bruce Lee is using all of those mirrors. He broke all the and mirrors. And then he killed, he broke all of the mirrors. When you destroy the image, you destroy the man. Right. Most people are a fucking loose Halloween mask. That's what most people are. They are a mask. And this is why trust is important. You don't have to trust the truth. The truth simply is. The truth of the ocean there's a lot of truth about the ocean. It'll fuck you up if you're not paying attention. That's the truth, right? The truth of the ocean is it's beautiful. There's not a, the, the ocean doesn't have to yell and say, look at me, I'm beautiful. Mm-hmm. Truth doesn't need explanation. Right. So when you're in your truth, listen to this, might sound strange. You have no real use for trust. Trust, remember I said earlier, trust and fear are lip locked. They have to go hand in hand because it's, if I need to trust that you're going to, you said, and I remember you promised. You understand? When you're in your truth, you don't you don't need that. When you're in your truth, you know. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? You just know. I would hope so. You're in your knowingness. Man, Red, come on, man. You always come in here and, and show out with stories of fucking mothers and daughters and. <laughs> Yo, see, boy, this boy is a velvet pimp. I love his style, man. He got broke us. That's who he is. I love it, man. Hey, thanks for calling. We appreciate uh, sharing the information. We got to keep it pushing. Call in anytime, brother. We miss you, man. Yeah, let's go to line three. The homie Hustle is in the building. Let's get Hustle in here right. Let's 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 set Hustle up. You know what I'm saying? Let's give him his juice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Never mind. Nah. What did Hustle be doing what when we play that? What happened to the music, man? Oh. <laughs> I was, we were trying to play your music. The, the engineer cut your music off. Oh. oh <laughs> There's your music. You're back. Hustle, I just picture you in a bathrobe just bobbing your head every hey. time we play this. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at this. Look. I- I picture him yeah, in like white okay. linen. I picture yeah. this nigga in a caprice, driving, drinking something, holding it in a, it's a white cup with a towel on his neck. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, hustle. Yeah, Speak on it, man. Uh, look, I ain't got no crazy stories like Red, man, because you know I ain't trying to get shot out here. Right. But, <laughs> look, I'll just add on to one quick thing you just said. Basically, trust is only needed in the unknown. So that's how I feel about trust. Now, That's some Game of Thrones right for the, there. For the, oh, I don't watch that. But for the um, for the topic, look, some women they can't be honest with you because they can't even be honest with themselves. So you can't really expect them to give you everything when they can't even really be honest with who they are. So I heard Whitney say that she doesn't want to know everything about what a dude's been through, you know, because it's boring or something like that. But I got to ask myself, maybe she doesn't want to feel obligated to share her own truth. Mm. You know? Speak and, to him. Really, if you're not keeping it one, if you're not keeping it 100, are they really loving all of you? Come on now. You got to tell on yourself. But my thing, I, I tell my truth. I, I'm the millionaire player. I'm sorry. I, I say too much. I'm usually like doing the most or talking way too much. That's obviously why I'm on a talk show. But... <laughs> But no, like, I mean, I'm interested in what you got going on, but I'm not going to press you for whatever. You're going to tell me exactly what you're going to tell me. And you're going to show me who you are by just doing. So I ain't got time. I mean, why waste our time or stress ourselves out with trying to figure something out that you really don't want? I'm not going to make you uncomfortable because you don't want to tell me. I'm cool. We're good. <laughs> Interesting. So you're comfortable if they're uncomfortable with their own truth? Yeah. Ooh, hustle. Mm, hustle. That was a ooh. Because I guess that is. Bring what it back, it is. hustle. Bring it back. Mean? Bring it back, hustle. Say that again. So basically, she's saying that she's comfortable 
with her spouse being uncomfortable within their own truth. What 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 can I do to make you comfortable in yourself? That's a that's something for you to figure out. I'm here to help no, in any way I can do. For I, if, you to figure and out. if no no no, <laughs> my spouse is uncomfortable with himself, then he got to figure it out. Yeah, I'm here you. to help and support him. And if that is listening, right. then I'm gonna listen. If that's sucking it and doing all this extra lovey dovey whatever we gotta do, yeah. then cool. I'm here for you because I'm your partner in life. But realistically, you gotta work that out on your own, boo. Because look, I don't really know your truth because no one can ever really know the truth. Because that's that inside of you, like right. real life. Well, I feel like if if you really want to help out, then you got your own responsibility to play your part in that relationship. And so I, I have a question for Hustle because earlier Arana said she ain't asking shit. She don't care, you know what I mean? She's not trying to get too deep into somebody's business. That they will just give, it. they will give everything that you need to know about them. So if a woman isn't asking you questions about your past and about who you really are, is that a woman you still feel like you can connect with? I was well, misquoted. I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, I, I, well, go ahead, Arana. Do you want to, do you want to re-say it? Let, let, let Hustle, because okay, he's on. Okay, good. Thank you. Finish Hustle, and then we'll come back to Arana. All right. Well, I was just going to say, I don't want to speak for her, but I feel like as though she wouldn't want to be with a dude that's shady anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem if it's somebody that she's really considering. No, you, you, Hustle. I want to know if a woman is not asking you questions about you and your past, is that still somebody that you feel like you can go deep with? Well, there's levels to it. You know what I'm saying? So as we get deeper into the relationship, I reveal deeper about my being. And that's where she has to make the choice. There's continual checkpoints along the way. Right. That's good shit, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the call, Hustle. We appreciate you every time you call in, brother. We got the record ready for you, man. Yeah. Appreciate so, it. so Arana, yeah. you had something? Yeah, I can I can clear up basically what I said. I didn't say that I don't ask questions. What I said is I don't go to deceptive measures to get information. I don't feel like I need to crack phones or, yeah. you know, do things. I let people tell on themselves. I'm so open mm. and so unbothered that whatever it is that you came to know about me, you're going to know because I'm going to eventually give up the ghost anyway. Mm. And if you can't, <laughs> yeah, if you can't be that way with me, I don't want you anyway. See, the problem is we try to make all these investments in people who aren't really for us when yeah. you should just be fucking and having a good time. Yeah, so you were talking about deception. You're not going to go through extra lengths to find out through somebody. It's like a PIN number, right? Everybody don't need to know your PIN number. Everybody you fucking with, everybody you having conversation with, everybody that takes you to dinner, et cetera, is not the one. Why are you giving them their PIN number? Why are you letting them in through the, you know, the information? And I'm going to throw this back to Veronica, Yeah, but I'm going to twist what you just said. You twist it on me? Let me just say, not every spouse is deserving of your pen. I agree. Yes. I do agree, though. That's what Veronica, what calls the boy picker. So, uh, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. So, can I speak to this? Yes. Sure. No, so, so I, and listen, I've probably been guilty of being, so when I, it's funny, because I, maybe because I'm trained as a coach or whatever, or because I have that orientation, I sort of, uh, ask questions not to find somebody wrong, but to actually find somebody right. And so I've gotten blindsided that way, and I've gotten, you know, fucked over that way or whatever. But I actually am listening for the king and the man all the damn time. And so my questions are actually geared in that direction. And so what's funny is that when you do that, you find that. And so every man does have a king in him. And so, but I have had to learn the hard way that... Um, hmm. that just huh. I've had to learn the hard way that if they're not in that posture of maintaining that for themselves, I can't want it more for them than they want it for themselves. Yeah. So I'm kind of I'm kind of with her on on that in terms of being like discerning. I've had to learn to be far more discerning, but I will always champion a person into their highest and best self because I think that that's the gift that we give each other in relationship on the planet. And we need it. We need it from each other as black folks more than anybody. Oh, man, <laughs> we appreciate it. Let's go to line six. Joe, it's your time to shine, man. You're on the voice of reason. Holler at us about this. Do you trust her? Who's having Sam? Hey, Joe. 
What's up, Joe? Hey, y'all. Uh, it might cut off because I'm driving in the medical center, but I'm going to say this quick. Ooh. I've learned to trust my ability to bounce back no matter who I'm dealing with. Mm. So I don't worry about having trust issues mm -hmm. because people aren't perfect. Wow. That's real. Oh, so bouncing back in the relationship, not I mean, like bouncing back from it. No, from it. So basically. Bouncing back in it or from it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Hey, Joe, your, your, your line is a little noisy, but we appreciate you calling. Thank you, Thank you so real. much, man. That was good information. That's all we needed to hear. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Call hey. us back some other time, brother. All right. So. Thanks, Joe. This is crazy right now. A lot of people, I think, just, you know, I'm going to throw it to Doc. Doc, I need help. I'm trying to understand the trust thing and lies and deceit and poisonous pillow talk if i'm if i'm in <laughs> love with somebody and they my ride or die i shouldn't have to think about the end of the relationship and what they're going to do with all of the information they've accumulated about me can you speak to trust talk to me well i've actually been in situations before where uh People have taken information about me and used it. But I've also found that in the long run, it didn't really matter because my life goes on. And so in the grand scheme of the overall span of my life, there may be a rough patch if that person has done something like that. So is it better for me to, to withhold? Mm -hmm. Or is it better mm -hmm. for me to continue to express myself? And if things do not work out, um, that person can go... People tend to out themselves. Yes. They tend to be consistent. If they're yeah. going to do that with me, they're going to tend to do that with other people. Mm -hmm. Other people are going to know about it. And other people are then going to perhaps learn this about me, read about me, mm -hmm. and they'll consider the source. Mm -hmm. That's my my opinion. Would true you? story. Man, that's a true story. Came consider in the here. source. You know what's deep about what he just said? He basically related problems, secrets, and all of that to excrement. No one cares about where they release the excrement. Well, you, you don't want to do it in public. You'll get arrested. But you don't, you know what I mean? You you got to, there. you just can't hold all of those things into you. You just got to get rid of it, Get let it go. And once you let it go, don't think twice about it. I mean, if it's going to harm you, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like, you'll be fine. Like, Listen, we got to take a quick break. This is a crazy show. Can you trust your spouse? Really? I don't think so. The moment you let somebody down, all whole, listen, it's all fair and love and war, they say. The moment you let somebody down, though, as long as you're fulfilling and living up to them expectations and you're meeting them, what did, what did Veronica say? Meeting, not their needs, but getting their wounds met. As long as you're, as long as you're meeting the needs of their wounds, right? Healing, yikes. healing the wound for them, they won't heal for themselves. The mm. he, oh yeah. shit! Damn. Don't don't do that to them, Doc. It's healing right the, the break, wound, right? Healing the wound <laughs> that they won't heal for themselves. As long as you're doing that, your secrets are safe. When we come back, we're gonna talk about how your secrets are not safe. We'll be back. <laughs> Hey, this is Zoe Williams, and you're listening to the Voice of Reason on Hot Button Radio. Man, what's the homie's name again? Get on the microphone. Don't melt it down. <laughs> Shut up. His name is Kush Shalimar. Man, he up here making beats, man. It's crazy right now. Listen, this is what I want to do. I want to... Wait a minute, we got another caller. Let me get this caller on again. Line two. I think she called back. This is Miss Lips. Let's get her in here. Miss Lips, are you there? Miss Lips, are you there? All right, Miss Lips, we got to roll. All right, well, we missed her. She had some good stories. I already know it. She already does. You know how she gets yeah. Man, I was good so ready. Hotels. So this is what I want to do. I want to get everybody's summation. Let's start with Red Panda. Man, um, our topic went in so many different directions, but for me, I think I'm still standing on if you're not interested in knowing anything about my past, you couldn't 
even halfway be interested in knowing about my future. Um, let's all try to respect each other's privacy as we are interested in what they have going on at Ashanti for Live. I love it. That was like a commercial. Veronica, what are you doing? Wrestling with your headset? What's going on? <laughs> No, you know, I got this new phone and my headset kind of sucks. So I'm ordering a new headset that doesn't cut. I've got a new really great phone, but the headset is crazy and weird. So it, it, I don't know. I yeah. got you. I got you. I understand. Whitney, summation. Summation. Let me see. Pillow talk. I mean, honestly, just you're the only one that can make yourself happy. So if you want to be honest and pass out your phone cords or whatever it is or any information like People shouldn't use that against you. And if they do, then they're probably not the the one we keep talking about. So, I mean, just keep doing you. If if being honest makes you happy, then be make yourself happy because at the end of the day, you're the only one that can control that. Yeah, the one's a lie, too. And the one is, um, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> some bullshit. Arana Lopez. Ah, oh, yes. Hello out there, world. My summation is this. So, Maisha? Yeah, I said that all wrong. Oh. You didn't have to. I got a college education. <laughs> okay, I swear to God. I went to my school. My summation. <laughs> Stupid. Folks, it goes back to the beginning. I don't even have pillow talk because if we fucking, I'm asleep. All right? Everything. You look that, like a talker, though. I am a talker, but not at that time. It's yours. It's a time and place for it. Yeah. We can Every time talk. a woman says it's yours, she's lying. Yeah, Definitely. <laughs> That's that's every time I said it, I was lying. Listen, (laughs) if you're looking for BS, you are going to find it. And if you're looking for BS, check your BS, because usually the person with the most BS is the person that's always unsettled in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. Say more. You can come on. Give me some more. Listen, if you have nothing to hide, you don't go looking for things because you're Mm -hmm. cool all by yourself. Mm -hmm. But it's when you're Mm -hmm. engaging in dishonesty, when you've been wrong in the past and doing people wrong and you know every angle in which the game is played, you always Mm -hmm. come into the relationship at an angle trying to guess the angle of which you're going to be attacked. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if you're not the attacker, you wouldn't be looking for an attack. You would just be chilling. You'd just Mm. be chilling. Hallelujah. 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 Rana Lopez. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Doc Barham? Doc? Yes. Summation on trust. You got to speak in that mic, Doc. You laid back like you're on the Starship (laughs) Enterprise. You got to get up on that microphone, man. What about... I really like what people are talking about finding your truth and knowing your truth within yourself. And going inside, ask yourself, go inside, go deep down inside and find out what it is, what your truth is and see how that affects your relationship, your definition, your perception of trust. How does that shape your experience of trust uh, within yourself and within your relationships and the way you see the world? Wow. And Veronica Conway. Take us there, VC. So telling the truth is not really for the other or the beloved. Telling the truth is an example of falling in love with your own fucking reality. And the more you can tell your truth about your own fucking reality, then guess what? The deeper you and more madly you fall in love with yourself. And so then... By extension, interacting with other people, they just get to fall in love with you and themselves in your presence. Yes. That's all love is meant to do. That's all it's meant to do is have you stand witness to the love that another person has for themselves and for you. So it's not even for the other. It is for the self. But what happens, uh, you know, sort of tangentially is that all, love begins to accrue to you in ways that you cannot have imagined. That's Man, really that was hot monkey lava. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, dipped in some Tabasco. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, do it for real. Now, unless you know you've done like some really horrible things, and these are secrets that you need to keep. Relationship is not the best place to hide those things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you can't really be in a relationship with a dark hole still inside you. Your partner's, she's going to, they're going to pick up on it. What's wrong, Arana? Did you hear this beat? 
how he broke the beat in oh the middle. Oh, Lord, she done, she done yeah. fell off. <laughs> She's in hip-hop world. Yeah. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you can't date a person's hole, right? Because that hole, either you're going to fall in or <laughs> something's going to happen where you get caught up in the hole. So you can't hide that shit. I love doing these shows because it gives me a chance, man, to just really be creative about life lessons that, to be honest, we should have learned this when we was kids. Come on. Imagine how good our relationships would be if we learned some of these lessons when we were children, right? This is part of writing your own relationship narrative. Finding out what your truth is. Man, can you, when you find out your truth, that's like finding out what book you want to write. The book of you, though, like what you're about, your truth, your manual, your manifesto, right? Your spiritual manifesto. When you're able to do that, man, you don't have to worry about, you know, aligning yourself with people or ideas or in laws or. Friends, you don't have to worry about that. It, it just naturally comes to you, as Veronica said. So, with that said, man, I love this show. Monday, we'll be back with another crazy topic. But let me do this my website is partially back up, and the part that's back up is the part that matters. Listen, there's only 250 copies remaining of the relationship dismount. If you want a physical copy mailed out tomorrow, Go to my website right now, IamZoeWilliams.com, and order your copy now. IamZoeWilliams.com. I'll package it up and mail it out tomorrow. We're only 250 copies left. Get at me. That's what we do. Everybody here, have you guys said where you guys can be found? Let's get Ashanti in here real quick. Say it. Twitter and Instagram, at Ashanti Ford Live, and keep subscribing to my YouTube's Girl on Fire production. Whitney? Hey, guys, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, at Miss Tabor. Awesome, awesome, Arana Lopez. Follow me on IG, you guys, at Arana Lopez 100 in New York. I need y'all to come on out to the Knitting Factory, 9 p.m., October 4th. Awesome, awesome. Doc, where can they find you, man? They can find me pretty much anywhere at uh, Doc Farm. So YouTube, Instagram, uh, DocFarm at gmail.com, yeah. even Facebook. Any yeah. of those. How do you spell your last name? Thank you. It's uh, D-O-C. Last name is Barham, like uh, B-A-R-H-A-M. Dope. So like bar where you drink and ham like the, like the food. I like it. I like it. <laughs> My brother? Uh, first of all, my name is Chris Shalimar, and I appreciate y'all for even having me today. Man. Yeah, man. Way to make them beats, huh, boy? Yeah. 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 So I'm having yeah. a good time. But my name is Chris Shalimar. You can catch me on Instagram, Carl Oxford, K A R L X O O X F O R D. Okay, there's and too many letters. In <laughs> <laughs> or you can catch me on Twitter, Chris Shalimar is my name, and you can go on and that stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. Real quick, Veronica. 20 seconds because we got to go. 20 seconds. Yeah, Ver- Ver- just check, hit me up at veronicaconway.com. We're launching another uh, business intensive business boot camp. You can just hit me at veronicaconway.com if you want more information about that thing. All right. Listen, we got to go. We love y'all. We catch y'all next week, Monday. Deuces, Voice of Reason, Hot Button. We out.